Welcome back to the Sports Report. As we transition from fall to winter sports, we're going to be spending uh, a few minutes each week talking to some of the local athletes and teams in our area. And uh, we're honored to have, for our first uh, time doing this, the first time this season doing this, the uh, Perry members of the Perry Commodores boys basketball team, head coach Matt Tabler, uh, Lewis Hurston, and Jamal Whiteside. Guys, first of all, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Jamal, are you having a good day so far? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Talked about that before we get going. Just, we, we want to talk about it. Talk about your day, how things are going. First thing I want to ask you guys is, um, leading up to the season, I, I'll, I'll start with you guys, kind of just with you. So one of the things you guys do to get ready for the season, you guys do a lot of conditioning. Talk, talk to us a little bit about that. You guys want to do more than anybody else, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, to, just to play the way that we play, you have to be in really, really good shape. And uh, Coach Tabor does a good job of making sure that we're running in between drills and running to get water and, you know, running everywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Paying attention to detail a lot. With the younger guys, we've got to, like, kind of, like, teach them a little bit more than uh, the more experienced players. And they're kind of picking it up a lot better than what I thought, but uh, yeah, that's about it. Kind of touching on that because I wanted to ask you guys, because you're both seniors, and you know, how has it been kind of getting the younger guys to understand you know, what Perry basketball is all about in, in your view? Jamal, I'll start with you, and then Lewis, you want to chime in, go ahead. Um, I'm trying to teach them to work a lot and teach them how to be a leader, um, teach them to be disciplined, and yes, uh, I, th I think that they came in thinking it was going to be a little bit easier than what it actually is because that first practice they were a little, th there, was, there were some guys who were like, oh my gosh, I, this, this is tough. <laughs> what, what made it harder? Was it the conditioning or is it, is it just kind of just getting used to getting into basketball shape? I, th I think it's just the energy that we practice with. We just, we practice with so much energy. It's constant talking on defense and you know a lot of running and just making sure that we do everything right there's just a lot more attention to detail in the varsity game than there is in the junior high or even the JV game coach what have you seen in, in regards to that how have the uh, how have the younger kids been picking up the system how have the seniors done as far as leadership you know we have a nice little mix this year uh, we, we have six seniors um, they all have varsity experience um, we have a junior coming back on our basketball team, and then we're, we're mixing in four freshmen. So it is a wide variety, and, and your team is only going to be good as your seniors. And we got great leaders. These two, um, you know, Louie had a great football season, great football career at Perry. And so we look for the leadership, and, and Jamal was our seventh man on our state Final Four team two years ago. And so he has a lot of experience and a lot of games under his belt. So these guys are leading the way along with the other seniors and, and trying to teach the freshmen, um, like, like Jamal alluded to, is paying attention to detail. Your athleticism can only get you so far. So I think uh, when you have six seniors like we do, they can really help guide the freshmen through a very long season. Junior high, you're done by the end of January, and our season's just picking up in January. You know, we have <laughs> right. another month and hopefully a month and a half left at that time. So, like we said, we're, we're only going to be as good as our seniors, and I think we have pretty good leadership this year. You know, talking about kind of the, the past success that you guys have, have had, um, you guys have had some pretty deep tournament runs. You've had some pretty good teams here in the last five years. Uh, how has that helped the process of getting these guys ready to go, that understanding that there's a standard here, what Perry basketball is supposed to be, that we want to make sure that we're – uh, not just competitive every night, but competitive at a level that uh, is, you know, championship worthy night in and night out. Exactly. You know, this has been a long process. This is my 12th year as head basketball coach, and we started, you know, um, a pretty low level. And but we knew where we wanted to get to, and you know, 12 years we've built the program up where we're playing teams that probably never Perry ever dreamt of playing 12 years ago. We, we have Delphi St. John's on the schedule. We have Linda Central Catholic on the schedule. We have Shawnee, Bath, um, and so in Walpock. And then along with a, a, a tough league schedule and some other good D4 schools in this area in Lincoln View and Miller City. So now we've got to consistently beat those teams. And we haven't got to that level yet. So we still have you know, room to improve on that. 
Um, but far as just building the program up and expectations, obviously when you make a deep tournament run like we made um, two years ago, um, the expectations are high. And we set our expectations that high every year now. And so we're building on tradition and we're going to keep building on it. And hopefully I'm here for another 12 to 13 <laughs> years and we can continue this thing going. You guys have had at least 14 wins for the last five seasons, I believe. And last year was, you know, I want to say down year because it really wasn't. You guys went 14 and 8. You won nine of your last 10 games in the regular season. How has that helped from, you know, looking back five years, the, the sixth year before that, when you guys came off, uh, I think it was the 715, yes, it was below sir. 500. Yes. Um, how has it helped you guys in getting ready for the season, knowing that it's not a sub 500 record you're coming off of that it's a it's a better season there's just higher expectations you know the expectations weren't very high last year because we only returned two players that had any varsity experience and they were our sixth and seventh men so um, with with the lack of experience that we had we didn't set our expectations too high but again we expected them to compete every night and that all starts with practicing and and i felt like our kids practice at a high level and so that really helped, um, you know, just the entire program. I think that we have built the program where even if expectations aren't high, we're still going to win some games. Um, we like to use our athleticism, and we feel like our athleticism and speed can keep us in a lot of games, and, and Perry's always had that. We've just been fortunate enough to have guys like uh, these two and, and the guys that have came before them in the last four or five years, you know, help us win some ball games. You know, talking to you guys for a second. So you have your NWCC conference schedule, and then you have those other schools that Coach was talking about that you want to be measured up against. You want to you want to play those caliber of teams. Um, how has it been for you guys to to have that energy to keep that energy level up um, week in and week out each weekend, knowing that there's a pretty good chance that whoever you play, they're going to bring their A game. They're going to be the absolute best they can possibly be. You're going to get everybody's best shot night in and night out, basically. What yeah. do you think, Jamal? Um, Coach Tay, I'm pretty sure he keeps, uh, keeps that in our head to um, be above average all the time. In practice, he says schedules, perfect schedules. Everything has to be uh, organized, everything like that. So we, we're usually prepared, and we just got to show up and play, really. Um, you know, just Perry's never been a back down from a big team. You know, last year we lost nine games, but I think our biggest loss was maybe seven. Yep. And, um, you know, we played with Wapak, we played with Shawnee, played with all those big schools. We just didn't have the experience to pull out wins in some of those games. Um, but I really think that this year we're going to have that experience. I think we're going to come out and surprise some people. Guys, open up your season tomorrow night against Delphi St. John's. Guys, best of luck to you on your upcoming season, and we wish you the best. All right, thanks for having Thank us. You. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Members of the Perry Commodores, we're going to send it back to Andy at the desk as we continue with more sports report here on WTLW.